What's going on, friends? It's your boy here, Drew, and... What up? You know I am. What up? <laughs> what up? Episode 6. 6. Six of uh, candid conversation with John and Drew. Um, I think we're gonna do like a max. We're gonna pull off. I'm gonna do like a little insecure moment. We're gonna do ten episodes per season. Yeah, we'll that. do that. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So then, um, season one. maybe episode ten we'll do something fun or something. Okay, for that. I just this literally just hit me in front of a live audience. I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. or maybe like I don't know. Maybe we'll get some. Let's think about it. It literally just hit me. Like, I, he, he doesn't even know that I just thought about it, to be honest with you. So, let's just see what happens. Um, so, yeah. Welcome. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing because I already know I'm foreseeing or I kind of i am suggesting that uh, the last episode was the... Was uh, spicy? A spicy. Sure. Spicy. I mean, we were just being honest. We were just being honest, honest at the end of the day. We were going to take it to certain ways and take it, it to certain ways. Exactly. So, without further ado, guys, um, <clears throat> let's just get into it. Yeah. Vent session. <sighs> All right, John. The smoke. All right. Um, Start him out. My yeah. vent today is not, it, it's more of a, yeah, no, it's a vent. It's a bit of a vent, but it's also a bit of um, something for my kiddos, yeah? Um, last time I talked a little bit about business in episode 5 and being my vent, and I, it, it kind of is business just in a different aspect, right? This goes to my students, yeah? I, I, I've told you this many, many times, right? Yeah, I love every single one of you, whether you're the best dancer or you're, you're the dancer who's trying or whatever the case may be, the correct answer, it doesn't matter, right? But for me, it's so important that, and I've said this in class over and over again, like, it's a business too, right? We have a business, right? Right? I am I am the head of your business, right? I am giving you something that I need you to then carry out, right? And I need you to do a good job in it, right? So my vent is, it's a vent, but it's also like a, 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 a plead also to be like, hey, like, my students, I've, you know, I'm coming up to the end of a lot of my choreography, um, I'm coming up to like my my brain about to like explode from all the dances mm -hmm. I have, right? And mm -hmm. and I, I am proud of what I've created for each and every one of you, whether you're my babies or whether you're my oldest and most talented, right? I, I just this is again it's it's a vent but also a plea. I need you guys to hold up your end of the bargain, right? And I'm finding that some of you aren't, and I'm finding that some of you are, right? And the aren't is I guess my vent and my R is my plea to say, if you are killing it and practicing and doing a good job, you know who you are and I appreciate you for that. I truly do because I know it's not easy what I give you, um, I do, but it involves you guys having to practice. You have to put the time in, right? Um, you know, me creating these pieces, yeah, like sometimes do I work on them right in the moment? Yeah, I do. But, but I've put in already 15 years of work prior to be able to be able to do something and be able to do it on the spot because I, I can I can pull from somewhere, right? So that me saying I'm still putting in the work. So I need you guys to hold up your end of the bargain. It, I, I wanna see everybody do well this year. I want everybody to, it's not so much about scoring well because opinions are opinions, right? Not everybody's gonna like my stuff. But my, my plea is to please put in the time. I've given you enough ammunition to go out there and murder everything. I've, I've, really, I, I've really given everybody that chance to like, do well if you want to, you know? And I just, I need y'all to, some of y'all to, to really get it together. And I really want you guys to look at yourselves and say, am I the one? And that's okay if you're the one. Like, this is, again, this is my plea to y'all too, to just be like, let me put in the work. Like, I want to see everybody do well. I want to see everybody feel good leaving the stage. I want everybody to come back to me and be like, John, like, all that hard work paid off. Like, thank you. Like, Right? Like it always does for some of my kids, right? Mm -hmm. Some of my kids go into it and they're like, oh my god, and like this, and then and, and, and you guys win first place, and then it's like, oh my god, we love you, Mr. John, no, no, no. And it's just like, like I, I give you the proper things that you need to succeed because I nor him will ever steer you in the wrong direction of anything we do. Everything we do is done because, again, it has, it has my name on it, right? So I, I need you guys to, to carry that with pride. And, and, and make me proud, but also make yourself proud. Yeah, so please, yeah, okay. please practice. 
Because you know I'm coming for you. Okay. I love y'all though. That's my passion. Okay. This is, okay. I... Uh, I mean, I couldn't... I'm gonna make this a little short too. Um... But... I pray for you. I pray for my pieces. Yeah. Um... You know, objectively from from what you know, I see. Yeah, even, show me, show yeah, me, you show, show me some show stuff. Show me. Even I mean, from 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 the kids, and then this is an honest evaluation. Some of you are practicing. Some of you are rock stars, and then some of you guys just. I just don't know why. I don't even know why. Why? Yeah. yeah. And that's not to say it's just his studio. It's like my studio too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I think it's just it's studios kids. in general. It's like. Even in going into competition season, we can tell being so embedded in this industry who has been practicing and who has not. And it's not that, and I just said this to him, like, once again, I keep saying this in every episode. This is like my second, third year teaching little kids on a consistent basis in a studio. Guys, I'm used to teaching you, teaching dancers like a four minute routine in two, three hours. Maybe, like a whole entire piece in one day. And then you have to perform it the next day. Like that's my vibe, right? So I have to now pull back for myself too when I'm teaching because I know that's not realistic, right? Like what what 13 year old is gonna, like I, I do know some that can do it, but it's like it's less than 1% because I get it, I get it. And I'm getting more of an understanding. But what I think what he's trying to say to you guys is, is like, if he's putting in the time and effort to create these routines, regardless of the fact of him doing it on the spot sometimes, like, and then he comes back the following one, the following rehearsal, and you guys don't seem to know your shit, like, and then it doesn't even matter, like, come on, like, and I, and I say this all the time, like, if you're doing a Mr. John piece, I'm gonna need, and this, okay, this is the whatever, it's candid, I'm gonna need you guys I want him to test each and every single one of you because if you guys do not understand that you should be filling in the spaces and the lines, Talk about it. I'm going to start calling him Mr. Crayola actually because like that completely signifies what his choreography is. There's, there, I don't understand why some, I honestly don't understand why some of you who have been working with Mr. John forever just don't fill it in. Some of you are. Ooh. Beautifully, and some of you guys aren't. So he can't teach you that, and you guys should know that. You guys should know that. But you have a good one here. So I mean, you're you're gonna, you guys are gonna listen. You don't want to hear this man's not that calm because it's better to have him as a teacher than me because all my students can tell you I am vicious. 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 Once again, just like I said in the last episode, like we're different in that aspect because he's patient. He's like he's so patient with it. Me, it's it's the fucking Olympics. I do my sh right. And then once again, I maybe mean, I'm asking for a lot, I get it, I get it. I, mean, I pull back. But I'm that's 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 just showing you the difference between him and I. But he also has that same mentality too. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. like if you come off that stage and you know that you didn't do well, don't expect like, don't expect either of us to be like, it's okay, it's okay. No, no that's never gonna it's happen. never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. But very good vent, bud. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so my vent. I'm trying to go on 33. Okay, my okay, vent. Yeah, yeah, no, no. We gotta put the money in the meter. Money yeah. in the meter. We got it. All right. So my vent is hmm. along the lines of there being like so many different crews, right? Now I think it's great that we have all of these different crews um, for kids of a young age to be able to train and be able to do things in. Right, but what I'm noticing from a studio, once again, from a studio standpoint, is is why are so many crews getting so upset at the director of another crew because you guys are are working with the same dancers, but then you guys act like you birthed them. Yep, sharing all the same dancers. All of you guys are sharing the five same minutes. dancers <laughs> for five. Thank you. I was gonna say that. <coughs> all of you guys are sharing the same dancers for five minutes. Five minutes. It's like 
They did a piece for you one time and all of a sudden they're yours now. I'm sorry, were you at Beth Israel Medical Center giving birth to that specific dancer? Are they your child? Do you have a birth certificate on them? And then you guys get so upset because like these kids, and I, 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 I'm, I'm just being honest. Some of you guys who are running some of these crews have to understand that you are not working with adults. You are working with kids. Kids are developmental creatures that have to feel a balance of being a kid, yet there are some kids that do appreciate what you are providing for them professionally. And that's not the issue, but the fact that you guys are now stressing over the fact that one kid doesn't want to do something one weekend, or one kid doesn't want to do this project, or one kid doesn't want to do this, they're 12, they're 13 years old. Like, like I had such a like an amazing <clears throat> childhood growing up because I felt like I was a kid. Like we like in the last episode we talked about the Power Rangers. Like I played video games. I, you know, and even as I got into adulthood, I still play video games, but I'm specifically like my my vent is towards the young demographic of kids who, who do have such a deep passion for the arts, which is fantastic. But you guys who are in charge of these uh, these crews, you have to realize that like they're just kids at the end of the day. And all of this bad talking and you guys want to go in other people's story to see what dancer works with this person. Like you guys need a new hobby. You guys are adults. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't care. I said it. <clears throat> Like, Dude, and then I mean, and, and then and then a lot of you message, which I find interesting. You guys message the dancers, but once again, the dancers don't even have credit. Yeah, they're not ones paying for anything. They're not paying for anything. They don't have a job. So like, why are you messaging the dancers to be a part of things that the parent has already specifically told you they're not doing? People are weird. Am I like people am, are weird? No, you're right. Am I wrong? Like no, they don't right. pay. Like these kids don't pay for anything, guys. What are you doing? Dude, there's just no. There's no excuse to sign to a DM of a child. And uh, so, so on top of need you to be here. Exactly. So now you're sliding into the DM of a child. You're getting upset when the child or the parent has already told you that they don't want to do it. And three, now you're getting upset with other crew directors because they're using the same kid. And I have to say, like, listen. I know, this is a perfect example, I have worked with, you know, the, the, five, the five girls I did squat with, which, which did fantastic last comp season, uh, you know, good graces, they always got something, it always placed, beautiful, whatever, you guys know my vibes about competition, whatever. Um, so, with that being said, you know, um, a lot of those dancers that I used, are part of other people's crews or so other groups, which is fine. fine. I and, 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 and I think kids do different things because what I'm doing for you guys or what I provide is different than the next person. And I think you should get different variety, 100%. 100%. But, you know, it was funny because once that was over, it was like, oh, that's 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 a squat crew. No, 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 don't, don't lose no damn crew. I am not a part of um, the BAU. I am not a part of SVU. I, I, am, I am Mama Drew. Mama Drew just puts, mind you, Squat was an original, originally just a concept video. And you guys have, who have been following me for years know that I've been doing videos since freaking 2000 and, and probably college days. So that's 2004 to be honest with you. I didn't even know I was creating a video. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Old laptops with me, you know, back on the college team dancing and being on the step team and, and, and shit like that. But like, all to say guys, you guys gotta relax. Like at the end of the day, these are kids. And like, <laughs> I hesitate because I know some of you might need, might want these kids possibly on a monetary value. Yeah. Just saying, because you got bills that you have to pay, and you know, I, once again, this is candid, but my event is relax. And if it's that serious to you, then hire adults. 
because there are plenty of adults in New York City who still continuously go to BDC. And the funny thing is, is you are an adult. I'm sure you know a few adult dancers. But just chill. Like, why? Like, I, like right? They just want to take advantage of all the kids. And it, it, it comes down to, like, who owns who, and none of y'all own any people. You don't own anybody, and that's why... And that's it's why selfish, so. mm -hmm. it's extremely selfish. And then on top of that, it's interesting because, like, it's it, it's only going to do more damage to the kid. They can't be everywhere, guys. They can't. I actually know one dancer who has rehearsal for a basketball team. Then they have to go somewhere else to another rehearsal, then drive all the way somewhere else. Like, it sounds like she's on tour and she's not getting paid for it. Yeah, I said it. Sit down and have a seat. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Y'all weirdos need to cut it out. Yeah. Just just, just cut it out. Just cut it out. all the adults. And, and it's unfortunate that, like, again, like, we're, you know, these are the people who are, like, you know, at the top. And, you know, they're not at the top, but, you know, it, it, it's stupid. It's yeah. stupid. It's stupid that the parents are forcing these kids to work with them or, or, or. You gotta let a kid be a kid. Like, like let the child be a child. Like, we 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 love the kids we teach. We do. We love them, but like we don't own them. We don't ask nothing of them. If you can come, great. If you can't, great. It's okay. Yeah. We don't hold nothing against you if you come six in a row and now you can't come this one because you have other obligations to dance with somebody else. That's okay. Yeah. I'm not the end all be all. He's not the end all be all. When you come to us, do you get quality? Of course. Versus other people, of course. Yeah. 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 You know, but. The, the whole, like, being mad and going back and forth and hitting up the kids and the DMs when you know the parents watching is just so weird. So weird. <laughs> it's so weird. So weird. But yeah, that's my thing about it. There you go. All right, we will be right back. It is 1.43. We need to put money in the bank, and we will be right Cha -ching. back. All right. Ready? Hi, friends. All right, we are back. All right. We here to do a quick... Hair change. I left my coffee. I normally don't do Dunkin', but Dunkin', I mean, whatever. I'm a Starbucks girl. Yeah. Whatever. Um, okay. okay. Put meter and money in the oh, you're gonna put money in the meter. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. Dollars a fucking car for two minutes. Exactly. But I mean, like four dollars for. Oh, sorry. We spent. Whatever, yeah. Oh yeah, mine was. Yeah, we spent. It's fifteen. Fifteen bucks though. Yeah. Fourteen I mean, seventy five. It's the city. Here we are. Okay. So. Moving forward into pop culture, pop topics. Um, our first topic is speaking on the lines of what um, R&B superstar or rapper um, Ye, he changed his name, not Kanye West, it's now Ye. He officially changed his Ye name to Ye. I thought it was Ye. <laughs> oh, I, I guess that's based on whatever you think, right? So Ye, Ye. <laughs> Um, one, um, as you guys know, he just, him and Kim K are done. However, he's, he's getting a little crazy. He just, oh, he's getting crazy? He, well, I mean, he has been, but, well, okay, but well, it's all to say, he has been, at every single show recently, John, he's been literally taking away sets from songs that fans want to listen to. To rant. To rant about oh, how yes. much he wants Kim K back. Kim has filed a restraining order against Ye, stating that she mm -hmm. feels as though he's going to do harm to her based on the fact that she's now with a new man. I can only like imagine those text messages. Kanye has reported these. Oh, he's an ugly man. But he's not cute. He's like this big dog. That's what they say. Really? really? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll tell you often who said it, but she would know. <laughs> Really? Yeah, you know, but supposedly his thing is massive. But the, but Which who is cares? Gross. But that's the stuff. But it doesn't, matter, it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. matter because he's gross. He looks like he's like a meth head. He, he does. does. So all to say, guys, Kim responded back after that because Kanye said, "You're not gonna be with anyone else. You're only gonna be with me. I'm gonna see exactly what you're doing. You're not gonna be happy. I'm not gonna give you your privacy." John, what do you say to someone? Who used to date someone that is not there? <laughs> I mean, I, I, <laughs> like, uh, man, I'm getting out of like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I know the whole baby mama drama, baby daddy thing is tough, right? 
It's a it's a it's a trip I'm still on, right? It's a trip I'm oh still my on. God. A lot of ups, a lot of downs. <laughs> A lot of downs. Oh, okay? lot, a lot. Of, thank you. I was just about to say a lot of right? downs. But what I can say is, like, from Kim's point, like, one, we don't even know the text messages that this woman's receiving because, I mean, you already know the text messages that I've received. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I can't. I can't. Okay. I feel I can't. like I, I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like if you. You're done. Get you know, over like, it. Over, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, get over you're it. Not, if, like, yes, did y'all share kids together? Yes, did you have a life together? Yes, did you? Kim's also gross. And man, She's man, got a lot of work done. done. And Kim, you <laughs> only got famous because of your sex tape with Ray J. And to, to start off. I mean, she was also rich. She was all your, but she, dad was but your family, but she came from a family. That was she rich. Was like that for rich. Fine. But like, she grew to fame because of her sex tape. She did, yeah, so she got like first leaked into the- Yeah, uh, and then all of a sudden you started hearing about her sisters. Yeah. I just, just let it go. If you don't like, if you're not right for the person, like, stop being the other person on the other side. Like, yee, yay, Kanye, <laughs> Mr. West. Okay, and everybody else that needs to hear this. And he looks crazy. Okay, like he, yeah, his haircut looks wild. He now. looks like he got fucked up in the looks, He looks but wild. Like, my point is, is like dating him. People Ooh. are distraught, right? It's fine. People are crazy out there. Um, you gotta know who you're kind of dating. And, and, and sometimes we yeah. don't find out until when shit hits the fan, which mm-hmm. I know, you know, I've, I've been there. But it, it's just like, let it go. Why do we have to, why are we forcing love on somebody? I want to be with you. You have to be with me. Why? That's how you feel. You yeah. fucked up. Yeah. You did the weirdo shit. You were doing this. You were doing that. You didn't appreciate what you had when you had it. <laughs> so when you don't, Take it as a lesson to say when I get to when I get to love somebody else again or when I get to do this again with somebody else I need to make sure I don't do what I do to fuck it up like I fucked this up Don't go and harass the person who doesn't want to be with you That's some like this whole situation Wait, Where does ye yay Kanye think <laughs> him doing these weirdo shit is gonna get her back? She's done clearly and the more weirdo things that you guys do, if you guys are Gross. okay, okay. So what I'm gonna say is, I'm, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. If someone broke up with me because I was was a horrible person to them in the relationship, and 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 whatnot, guys, let it go because the more things you say and the more things that you do is is going to completely sever any type of any type of thing that your mind instinctually thinks is going to happen but like i mean your situation like kanye's situation but just dig but like you got like like honestly you like his situation and yours kim that digging just doesn't stop and 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 it's it's crazy because now you have to put a restraining order yeah, it's pretty wild. I mean, you know what I mean? Like that's wild. And for for him to publicly state that like you're not going to be with anyone but me, it's scary. Because then like where's where is the the normalcy to a new relationship to now the person that now Kim has to date now has to now say I have to deal with your kid's father. That's a lot. It's a lot. Good luck. <laughs> It's a lot. All good right, luck. so good luck, yay. Good, yay. I mean, good luck to yay, yay and, Kim, and anyone who's in that position. All I can say, all the JD brothers can say, well, what this Mama Drew is gonna say to you is, like he even hinted on it. A, it all starts with taking your time because the reality of the situation is, friends, nine nine times out of ten relationships that he and I see other people in, and that includes even this includes see. even my sister. So I'm even gonna put my sister on this. She don't know him. He don't know her. You need really figure out who you're dating. Come Take on. your time dating. Okay? Because okay. I'm telling you, watch the red flags. That's all I'm going to say. Watch them. Okay. Next, I, I'm, I'm single. I'm fine. Mask up. Okay. I'm go. fine. <laughs> Next up on our pop culture topic is now, bud. <laughs> Consumers are now concerned, or not concerned, but consumers now have the availability and the option now 
to now use social media in their own hands. How so? Debt collectors now can now officially email you, text you, DM you, or even send you or link you or leave a comment underneath your post to state, has nothing to do with the post, John. Let's just say you're out in like the, the park, Chase hits you up. Just so you remind that you are five days past due on your bill. Debt collectors now have access to your social media account and will be asking for social media handles. That all oh, when you, when, you, when, when, yeah, you, when like, you, let's say you like, uh, you owe money. Yeah. yeah, if you owe money now, guys, friends, some of your debt collectors, um, there was a list. Um, they will now figure out and they will fish. Let's say you're really behind in your bills. They will find out what your social media is because now consumers know you guys are always on social media. So now they will now reach out to you. It's like a privacy thing. They said, fuck that. Yes, I found this story very interesting. Social media world is so nice. So now my question to you is, is social media, where, where is the evolution of social media now? I don't know. It's my, when I, when, okay, so first of all, when I, when I found this story, John and I recently talked about um, the impact of social media with a lot of the things that have been happening with like TikTok and like the schools and stuff, right? And how the generation of where things are going now is, 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 is horrifying because we never had this social media because now social media is now a source of fear, right? Now, for sure, for sure. For now, when we look at this story, now social media is now invading your space and your privacy so much more now to the point where I'm kind of in between it to where I don't like that aspect to it. Now, the aspect to it that I agree with is why aren't you paying your bills on time? I get that, but 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 but, but, but guys, do you? But, but yeah, but like guys, why are you now going to post or DM someone now on their own personal thing? Like, I don't want to look back or scroll down in a picture. Yeah, but they could just block. They could do that. I'd say if you get it really quick, <clears> you could just. They could do that. You could delete. You could restrict it. You could restrict it. You could delete the comment well, right away. But I think my issue. I think I have a bigger issue with this because I feel like it's invading people's space. One hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like, and 100%. I spoke about one of my events in one of my previous episodes was that I understand you want to get paid. I get that, but I feel like come on, like debt collectors. There has to be a better way. Or just you know, there's you. certain things that are just never going to get paid for. That's life. John, no. No, no, no. no. It, I'm talking about when it comes to big corporations. Oh, like, yeah. Yes, like, yes, I'm yes, talking yes. about big corporations. No, yeah. no, there's, everybody should pay the debts. But what I'm saying is, like, these big corporations, like, there's people who make oh, hundreds of thousand dollars. These people from school. These people are never going to pay that back. These people are never going to pay some of their student loan back. Ever. And my thing Ever. is, and my thing is, it's just like, why? I just feel like mistakes could happen because I paid my bills on time. Like, yeah, what you if you got the wrong handle? The wrong handle, and you wrote that on my thing. Come on, come on. There's way too many loopholes for shit to get Yeah. So when I heard this story, actually, I was like, "Wow, interesting." That is interesting. I didn't know about that. Yeah, I they're gonna that. they're gonna start implementing this in the new year. I love that. I guess we'll find out. Can you continue? Huh? All I'm saying is is. Don't hit up my shit. I'm telling you right now, because I pay my shit, and a lot. And I find it interesting too. Someone else left a comment and goes, "Generally, they have like ten day grace periods. So, are you just gonna? Is your system? Because there's a lot of people not behind the system. Is your system just gonna automatically say if my shit is due on the 14th and I don't pay until the 19th? Are you just gonna send me a message and go just so? Because you, you, we get those messages now. Just so you know, your your payment is was this five yeah, five pays five, yeah, five, five past due or something like that. So what are you gonna um, stalk my Instagram and then contact Instagram? They don't they don't get back to you anyway because they have still haven't gone back to me. Am I hacking? So try again. But I just feel like the way once again, this is another means of social media and the world just fumbling. Like it is fumbling but downhill. They just want control to everything. So like it's just like constant like. It's 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 a it's a game. It's just scary. It, it's just scary. And then like, what is that? What are you gonna start putting my information on social media? Like, come on. Yeah, that's wild. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I, I don't think that's gonna. That's not gonna make any sense. 
Uh, stay safe out there, y'all. Stay, <laughs> stay safe. Stay guys. dangerous. You and I guess stay it's dangerous. just if there's a way that you can avoid it, just like guys, you can do like paperless statements. If there's a way where this is not an option, then waive it because I feel like this is totally not the answer for sure. No, for sure. For sure. For sure. All right, friends, we are up to our Q&A. We have a few more minutes before we have to leave the venue. So we will try to answer these as fully detailed as possible, as leaving, room, leaving no room for space. So first question, Bud, is what advice would you give just any... Well, the, the, way, the way that I hesitate is the way the question was asked was, it was from an adult. What advice would you give a younger child, like 13, 14, um, you know, making their way through the through the dance world versus an adult? Hmm. I actually thought that was a <clears throat> Okay, so I actually thought it was So an adult thing. asked basically what advice would I give to a young spine? Well, yeah, versus she wanted to know. What advice would you give a young aspiring dancer? And what would you tell like a dancer in their young twenties, who is still young, yeah. but the age difference is there, I, I, different. Um, when I first got this question, because I try to just read the question, but I don't answer it. I think ultimately, um, and I kind of mentioned this earlier in my event. So if if I had a thirteen year old versus a twenty three year old, right? Obviously, the 23-year-olds could potentially be making some form of income or money, right? Versus the 13-year-olds. Um, as far as the industry in itself goes, as I said before, I think it's really important for the kid to just remember to just be a kid and not grow up. I remember being a kid and wanting to be older and wanting to be a part of where the 23-year-old was, and I wish I would have taken my time there. So I say this to say, if you're 13 and you're a young dancer, train as much as you can, remain being a kid, don't beat yourself up because you have time to grow. Whereas someone who's in their 20s, if you're in a mindset where you're just trying to get started and this is like what you want to do, I, I don't want to say I think it's too late for you in a sense, but you need to, you need to, you need to move a lot quicker. So like your actions and where you actually want to be as far as like, if you want to be a commercial dancer, you want to be on Broadway or stuff like that. Like you have every, every opportunity to do it, but I feel like you're going to have to put on your thinking cap and be a little bit more strategic on how you can actually be known. Whereas like when you're 13, you have, you, you still have so much time to grow. So I'd say nurture in it, but as a 23 year old, you can still work, you can still book. Um, I just think you're more logically and rationally there too. You're gonna to be around a lot more adults and people, ask questions. Obviously you're 23 at that point. Always you should be able to always ask questions regardless. Um, but yeah, that can be, as I'm thinking about it now, like I'm just trying to see where I was at because when I was 23, I was constantly taking class, 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 class. And I was dancing and doing all this other stuff. But like I said before, I wish I would have asked more questions at 23. Like my mom is not there, you know, like you're, you're more inhabited in the culture. So you're going to be around other types of dancers. And when I tell you this dance industry, man, these dance the dancers or dance life, you, 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 you succumb to it. Whereas a 13 year old is not going to because they still have their parents with them. You might be around, you might hear stuff, right? But you're not by yourself. So I feel like in that aspect, that would probably be my answer to I'll, you. I would say my best advice versus like a 13 year old and a 23 year old that would stay with it. Yes, it's like, that, yeah. I'm gonna stay with it is because like, it, the main word is sacrifice, right? So like <laughs> yeah. a, a young a young dancer, <laughs> like their ability to sacrifice is so much less, right? Or they're gonna sacrifice playing with their friends or they're gonna sacrifice yeah. a little bit of time to do their homework and they're gonna go to bed. They have to sacrifice like their bedtime a little bit, right? So like the sacrificing for like a small child is, is so much less and, and it's okay, right? Like. Growing up, like, you know, I had to sacrifice a lot. I didn't go to every party because I wanted to do this dancing. I wanted to go to rehearsals. I wanted to be in the show. I wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. So, like, the, sac the level of sacrifice is different. Now, when you're 23 years old, and I can speak for me, when I was 23, like, I had my first son. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, for me, mm -hmm. like, you know, the level of sacrifice once you hit adulthood is way more and it's greater. So, 
Yeah, you have to be you have to go. You have to you have to you have to kind of have to think. Like you, you, have to, you have to think. You have to like you know you have to, have to think. work. Like you can't just you can't just be a kid and after school you can go to uh, you know fucking any rehearsal you want. Like as an adult after you just worked all day or maybe you're coming from school you have to go to work and when is there time to train? When is there time to do this? When is there time to do that? So like the level of sacrifice is, is a huge thing. And totally right, and I, my, I guess my best advice is take advantage when you're young. You know, I, I, I tried my best to take advantage of it when I was younger, and um, you know, uh, and you know, unfortunately, when I was in that 23, you know, I had to sacrifice yeah, you were a right. lot of my moment. I was in a, a weird little funk where I had to sacrifice and I didn't dance as much as I wanted to, so it's just like, and like, like you said before, like it, it's tougher to make it when you're older, mm -hmm. right. It's it, it you you have to kind of hone in on what you actually want out of it. Like I never wanted to be famous. I never wanted to be like on the big stage and all that. Like I I I, oh, I I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to like create cool stuff. I wanted to be able to put the kids on the big stage. But I didn't have that same oomph to be on that big stage, right? I wanted to be the person like constructing the piece behind it. So like. But I had to hone into that, you know, that it wasn't always that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. I did want to be the person, I did <laughs> want to be the superstar. But we like, all want we that, all but, want that. But you have to gain grip to what your true reality is. Right. Once you hit right. your 20s. And like right. 23, I haven't been sticking to 23 is because that's when you like graduate like college. Like, let's say it's, a, it's a big, you know it's a big mean? step. It's a big so, step. 23 is tough. So 23 mm -hmm. is where like now, like, let's say you did finish college and like this is your moment to where like you really want to do it. It's harder now because now you're kind of an adult. So now you don't know what else is going on in your life. Like he said, he didn't know he was going to have a kid at 23. You know what I'm saying? So like it, it, it just changes things. You know, we talk about life and the unpredictability of life. Whereas when you're 13, you're not thinking so much about yeah. that. You're still, you're young. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that would be the best advice, you know, but like there are some commonalities and similarities that you can still do at those two ages as far as the industry goes, but the way the world is shaping now, <clears throat> you better train. Yeah, in 23 year old, you're ready to that 13 year old to kick that no, ass. No, 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 like literally, like, 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 you know what I mean? Like, like, like literally guys, yeah, like, like it is. this is a completely different generation. We've yeah. said it before, like there are kids now, like, now that kids, are taking yeah. class with the adults and they are beating their ass. Yeah, respectfully, and I love respectfully it. Respectfully, and I love it because back when we were taking class, like, that was little never, kids that was, was never really a thing. Never, it was never a thing. You know what I'm saying? So, the mm -hmm. time to act is now. Start yeah. young, man. If you really want to do this dance thing, start yeah. now and focus love. on it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second question, my friend, is they want to know our opinions. Why is it so hard? Mm -hmm. This is coming from, um, actually, this came from a guy and a girl. Uh, both okay. straight or whatever, it doesn't matter. Why do you two find it so difficult or why is it so hard to establish a meaningful relationship, whether that be a loving relationship any or a relationship. friendship, any relationship? Why do you, what's your why, opinion on that? My <laughs> opinion, uh, like I think the, for me, the best word is selfish. People are so selfish with either forcing people's love or forcing these people to view it the way you view it to make yourself feel better. You know, like specifically for me, like I want somebody, I need somebody who's always going to be like, I mean, I'll, I'll say it, I don't mean it in a bad way, but I need somebody to be harsh with me because sometimes I need that person to be like, <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you thought that was smart? Or, you know, because I don't, I don't need somebody who's going to yes, 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 yes me to death, you know? I want somebody who I can go to and find solace and that person really has my back. You know, I want to find that person that holds all the values that I hold as well. But maybe we don't do it the same way. I mean, I always say with him, like, you know, he's two plus two is four, but I'm three plus one is four. We still get to the same answer and the same ending point. What we do and how to get there is a little bit different, but that's what makes... It, it means something because that end goal is, is still the same, right? The way we do it is different, but that end goal is still the same. And how we get to that end goal is still the same. It just, we have to maneuver a little bit differently. And people don't want to do that. People don't want to be like, well, two plus two might be four for you, but like, I'd rather one plus one. 
You know, it's just like, all right, and that's okay if, if people can find that because people have to find what their commonalities are with the people. But like, relationships are always gonna be hard, whether that's your best friend, whether that's your mother, your brother, your, your sister, your aunt, your niece, your girl, your man, your this, your that. You, you know, like, relationships are super hard. It involves a lot of patience. It involves you, the person that, that you're having a relationship with, with any type of relationship, needs to love your flaws. If the person, your mm -hmm. best friend, your brother, your mother, your son, your, your whatever, if that, if you don't love that person for their flaws, then you don't love them. I wanna hear it, you do not love them. Because anybody can love anybody when they're in the best of moments. You can love anybody in, in a happy job, <laughs> but if you find out you love that person in the darkest of times, that's when you know you love that person. Yes, and there is a handful of people that I will rock with in this world forever, and there's a ton of people that I can tell them to go fuck themselves because I don't care, right? You need to be able to, when you really find that relationship, it's somebody that you love them for their flaws. Yes, if once you find that person, this girl and guy who asked that question, when you find that, you hold on to those people because those are the people you love. And he means that, like, all, the universe is like with a friend yeah, yeah, or, yeah. I mean, or anything or, or whatever. Doesn't because matter. relationships are relationship. Yeah, because honest, and, and I feel like he, you know, he took my, he pretty much said what I was going to say. And I was just going to say, I feel like it's difficult because a lot of people just aren't. Like honest too with one another about what they want and what they're seeking but this is a perfect example to end out this question is, is like when I first met him and um, I <laughs> saw him at a, a long long time ago and, and I was at a show he's like I was in my 20s right so I'm nowhere and I, and I say this all the time I'm I was nothing, a child I, I was nothing I'm nothing like how I was in my 20s yeah. like at all right and there was something about him like John is your cliche little brother that is like Poke, 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 poke. Like he's annoying, and he knows he and he'll even say it himself. Like he knows he he has annoying things about him. Right? I know, I know, yeah. So like sure. I remember being that young, and like he just annoyed me. And like I remember saying to myself, like I I, I just can't. Like I just can't. And I remember like back then because you have to remember I was a different person then. So then I had no tolerance for like little things. So like that's when we had our moment where there was like a little like a little break or whatever and then we came back to each other now i'm so different like i'm so different and now like i can't live without those little things now i still to this day though still he pisses me off like like i'm just I'm and, he, life. and he knows that shut up yeah. he knows this about like he knows like even when he's guys He's on the phone, you heard? You know, blah, 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 blah. like, he just, like, I can't. Like, like, I worked out today. Like, like there's just certain things about this man that, like, now I I honestly, like, don't want to live without, to be honest with you. Like, I, like it's just, you know what I mean? Like, those are flaws that most people could probably or might find, like, eh, like I, but once again, like, I love him throughout all of those flaws. Yeah, so, to, to get us in, you know what I mean? Because I'm a mess, too. Yeah. I'm not, no, I'm a mess, no, 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 listen, <laughs> listen, my man needs a lot of patience, listen, yes. listen, I don't know, know you know, but that's, that's okay, listen, I am like the fucking solar eclipse, okay, this man has patience because, especially if you know certain situations will irritate me, and it's funny because he always cracks me up, he goes, um, he goes, he probably tells his mom too, like, here we go. I have to call Drew because, like, if we if we're about to get to like a tidbit or like an argument or yeah. like if something's about to go disarray and it's like fuck, like and he knows it's about to happen. It's so funny. Like you can feel the I energy mean. on the phone. It's like let me just get through this. I hope to God this conversation goes like okay. There's times when like <laughs> conversations don't even go right. And then, you know, we'll text each other the next morning and go, oh, okay, so that conversation went nothing how I wanted it to go. So. Which is okay, that's honest. Like, that's human. Like, yeah. for people to always think, like, everything, like, there is not gonna be a person that you're, you're, you're best friends with, your brother with, your mother, your son, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, your this, yeah, your that. I agree. There is gonna be a lot of shit that don't go how you plan. There's gonna be stupid arguments, there's gonna be stupid shit that happens, but, like, 
you have to push through with that somebody that you truly you really, care about. Really care about yeah. And just talk about it. Communication is another yeah. big factor. That's another reason why a lot of things don't work out either. But <laughs> okay, moving forward, because I just looked at my watch. Um, third question. Um, where do you see the future of social media? Ugh, disgusting. I hate it. I fucking hate it. I hate that's it. That's why I said like it's we so kind of. That's why I said I we kind of really kind of talked about it. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's good. <clears throat> I'm kind of scared for my son to be honest with you. I kind of wish we went back to a time when we didn't have social yeah. media like me and it's him. It's just different. It's just a different vibe, guys. And a lot of you guys, yeah, when I see a lot of you kids in classes and stuff that can't do it without your phones and you have to go on TikTok. It's sad. It's so sad. Because your brain is scrambled. Your brain but is... Like, Billie Eilish just came out with something. I don't know if you read it. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, she's been watching, she was watching porn since she was like 10 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Fucked her up now at like 20. Mm -hmm. Which is like, it's like... Nasty. Oh, I don't know. I just feel like because we've talked about it a lot with social media. I just feel like yeah. guys find some time away from it because just it's it, yeah. it, it's doing something to your mental health. It's not all real. Yeah, and I think real. social media for me, honestly, I think it's going to like negatively affect someone's mental health, and I'm really big on that. Like, because you know, yeah, you really okay. yeah, and 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 I think it's only going to continue to go get worse. So yeah, that's that. Good luck out there. And for our fourth question, uh, which I actually, I can't wait. I don't care if someone sends it to, to this person. So our fourth question, bud, is they want to know in the dance industry, like whether it's a choreographer or a, a teacher, someone we've worked with, um, whoever, okay. who is our dance crush? I will tell you this right now. I just mentioned him. Like, oh, yeah, I don't know. All right, so. I don't even care if you're watching this. <laughs> I think Denzel is is yeah, you love Denzel. I mean, Denzel is fire. He's yeah, 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 like I like <laughs> this. Just like I think I'm, I think we like took classes like once or twice years ago. You definitely don't remember me. I have like stormy hair now, but um, <clears throat> I remember seeing you on America's Best Dance Crew. Uh, with your tribe, with Alonzo, long, like, season two or whatever, and, like, you were always someone for me, I think, also being African-American, that really kind of, like, I would look at your movement, it's just your quality of movement was just always so inspiring, and then just recently you had come out, and, you know, kudos to you um, for, you know, just embracing who you are, because I know that that journey is hard, but you are just beautiful, and and I just like I tell him this all the time. Like I'm trying to think of another guy. Like there's really not. Like I know certain dancers that I've seen on like Step Up and stuff like that. But like a, like a dancer that I can honestly say like I have a crush on. Like Denzel, I have no type of want to like want to like. I'm not trying to say I want to like bang you or like date you or anything like that. This is this is just this is just a crush, it's right? A, it's an innocent it's crush. It's an innocent crush. So like if you were to like if I were to see you and your energy and what you bring to the dance floor and your movement, ugh, I just and you're attractive. Like I, yeah, Denzel would definitely be mine. I come on John, there has to be a girl that I mean, you're like there's there's definitely <laughs> two, but like I like them both for different reasons. Like I would say like when I look at Candace's stuff like, okay. like, Candace, yeah, I don't know if you watch this, but Candace, you know, hand. but <laughs> <laughs> I feel like her movement is just so, like, it's, oh, yeah, it's, I just want to, like, hold her, you know what I mean? Brown, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like, her and Denzel, like, like they, they're very, right, like, like, they just, just so, like, and I don't want, like, she's not ugly, so I don't want to say she's ugly, but, because she's not ugly, right, but, you know, for me, like, I think at this point in my life, like, I can look at, okay, now, now this other one that I have a crush on, Isabel Caps, right? Mm. She's also really young, but, no, well, she's that's like, vibe, but that's my vibe, too, like, yeah. she's kind of ratchet and hood, but she's, she's, she's got really tattoos, cool. she's got, like, the dude vibe, like, I like, I like that, I like that, I like that. Like, stuff. John's vibe, but see, that makes sense, because your vibe is like a Kehlani. If you met a girl like oh, Kehlani, and now we're talking about, like, older, yeah, Kehlani is if, the yeah, but like, crush. But, like, if you like, met, that, like, if you met a dancer like Kehlani, who 
exuded a, a strong masculine energy. Yeah, with the she tattoos, wore it with the tats and she wore the sweats and everything like that. Yeah, that's yeah, like vibe. that's his vibe. That's vibe. And I like Denzel is just a dude at the end of the day for me. It's like he dude. just like yeah. he's silly and uh, like yeah, Denzel will probably. Yeah. Be. But yeah, yeah, I mean, stay dangerous. I'm yeah, yeah. Single, yeah, I'm, yeah, I mean, I wanted to follow up with that and be like, <laughs> yeah, I wanted to follow up with that. I'm glad he started it. I'm not interested. I'm cool. I'm chilling. And yeah, it's a crush, right? It's only a crush and nothing's going to happen. So that's it. But and um, yeah, that's episode six. And uh, we appreciate you. We love y'all. We have like three minutes to pack yeah, up. Yeah, we got to this. this yeah, it's a lot. I can't. This woman, this woman, in this studio. Like, I can't. I can't. It's time to go. But all right, friends, we will talk to you soon. Thank you again for tuning in. And you guys have a blessed and safe day, all right? Stay safe, guys. Peace.